Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and Spartania in the third Odyssey mod. Uh, it's time for us to pick a new decision and I'm going to go with the sacrifices to the gods because uh, we need stability in order to reform our country. Uh, some of the most important things, well, yeah, reforming a country is one of the most important things that we can do and uh, this is costing us 50% extra just because we have no sacrifices. And so we, we definitely need to find some way to get rid of this uh, negative modifier there. Um, so let's go for it. Sacrifices to the gods. Many of our earliest converts were Barbaroi who worshipped the native gods and feared retribution at the halting uh, of the sacrifices. Now that we are in power, we have yet to hear anything about the continuing of this tradition. Now, I'm not sure if they're speaking of, uh, um, if they're speaking of human sacrifices because that's something that the... Greeks have not done, uh, if I remember correctly, not even the Spartans, but we definitely have sacrifices in the Hellenic religion. Uh, and so, uh, if this is just about regular sacrifices, we'll go with it. If it's about something else, we'll have to see. But yeah, we obviously lose admin power, oh my god. I wish we could spend military power on one of this. Um, anyways, one of the biggest drives in the Revelation was to resume was to resume the practice of human sacrifice. Okay, so there we go. But even now, after a triumph, the nobility is still reluctant. The 300, in particular, are nervous about the practice. However, unless we say something, the peasantry will be up in arms. Perhaps one big demonstration will show our position. So hold the feast with a traditional Hellenic sacrifice. So our state will denounce human sacrifices isn't expected, so it will cause unre uh, some upset. Uh, perform the barbarous sacrifices, but with animals only. So, okay, we'll permit mass American rights with animals only, and give me the knife, I'll do it myself. Um, we will allow mass human sacrifice, the nations of the world will not be happy, and the Lysians will be very angry with us. Be ready. Be ready. Uh, now, here's the thing, if we go for the- okay, honestly, honestly. This sounds like the most fun. I don't know if they're going to be declaring wars or anything, but this probably just means we're going to lose... Like, we're going to have to pay 25% uh, extra stability costs. This means we're not going to have to pay anything extra for our stability. And it, it just sounds so intriguing. Be ready. I think we are ready. Uh, in fact, hold on. I think this is the time. We'll go for the new technology. Uh, we'll go for the... Jungle hoplites. There you go. And uh, I think we are ready. This army is moving over. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now, we are. We have unbalanced research, but we're also rooting out corruption, so that's fine. And give me the knife, I'll do it. Now, is there anything I can do to my vassals to spend some uh, prestige, maybe? Not really. All right. Actually, and does that kill us? Hold on. It doesn't kill ourselves, right? Because that would be weird. It didn't. Okay. So, let's see what happens now with the Elysians. Uh, I think they're getting ready to declare war. Uh, I suppose that's what's happening. Let's get this as well. We're ahead of in military technology, so I'm not very scared. I wonder what they're doing though. They are getting ready somehow. Okay, we will. We gotta crush these rebels. They had a 40 stack here. That's gone now. And now they have their troops somewhere else. And th I think what I will do is I will get them down here just to get them together. And then we have another. We have our conquistador up there. So what are they gonna do? It's hard to say. Nothing, apparently. Seems to be the case anyway. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Oh, that's boring. Maybe it takes them a while? Maybe they have a Kaz's belly. Let me see. They have... There we go. Has conquest. That's it? Aw. They only have conquest. And that's just something that they have probably uh, just claimed like that. 
has nothing to do with the event necessarily. So that's kind of boring. I had expected more. But there was more taxes at least. So that's good. Alright, well, the feast is over. And uh, we held a month-long feast. It was quite an event. Important dignitaries from across Spartania and more than a few foreign ambassadors were invited. Some reacted better than others when it came to the offering of sacrifices. But in general, the event was a success. So we're now ready for another reform. Uh... And one more province changes religion. Great. Uh, well, if in order to get another reform, we need to boost stability. I'm actually going to wait for this to finish. And there we go. Okay. So, 200 settlers. Mononymy. I don't actually know where that is. Is that, is that up here somewhere? Yeah, that, you know what? I kind of want that one. So, well, that depends. With such slow, and we have such slow growth. I, I mean, I don't know. 50 population. Well, first of all, no sacrifices has, we've lost that. So stability doesn't cost as much anymore. Oh yeah, that's much cheaper. Oh, that's so much better. And we also have now partially established faith. We have more missionary strength and not as much cost for technology. Oh, that's so good. That's saving us so many points. I like it. Okay. Now, the next what we need to go for, build a port north of Chitsun Itza. Okay. That's giving us all kinds of bonuses. Lose gold. Gain development. Sounds good. But I think we'll go for the worship of Zeus. For... Just so that we can finally finish our religious stuff. And I think we're going to take the settlers there. Thank you. Uh, I think that's okay. Huron is colonizing as well. Oh, we kind of need to be careful that... Uh, that these little guys are not taking away our lands. We could attack Huron right now. Okay, let me see. I've got claims here. Uh, oh, 35, okay. That's new, I thought more was needed. Another successful conversion, let's continue that. Mm, so how much does this cost? Not that much. We can immediately go for another decision, and I want to, uh, yeah, talk about the worship of Zeus. We know that many of the stronghold gods of the Lysians are true, but which ones exactly is a point of controversy? Most notably, Zeus, king of the old gods, is worshipped by some and rejected by others. We must consult the oracles. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, worship of Zeus. Yet another debate has entangled our society, this time over the worship of Zeus. The mighty thunder god is variably considered a mighty deity worthy of worship or the symbol of enlightened oppression. Whatever the result of this debate is, it is clear that this only is a symptom of greater battle between Aslan believers and Hellenic regressives. Worship is heresy of the highest order. Or many of the Atslan once worshipped Zeus. I think even though this means trouble, we'll go for it. This means a lot of unrest, but I think that's that's right. I think I'll not go away from Zeus. Zeus uh, has chosen Leonidas to be uh, to become God, and so or a god, and so I think we're not gonna go away from him. I'll take the money. Thank you. And. We'll wait for one more claim. Uh, there you go. Uh, claim this. And then we'll declare the war on the Cherokee here. Unless, of course... Actually, no. I don't think that the Elysians will dare to attack us. That'd be weird. Now, however... We have this. 90%. Hmm... Is there somehow something I can do? I can demand administrative support. Recruit a minister. It's giving us... Oh, that's administrative, actually. But, uh... Grant monopoly charters. Mm, and ask for a contribution. Uh, a general... 
some military points, why not? Okay, you aren't happy, that's fine, I don't really mind that much. I thought we would get manpower somewhere, but that's okay that we don't get it. Show superiority and we'll crush you. We'll run in. Actually, ah, uh, 1st of April, you're kidding me, right? Alright, well, whatever. Um, yeah, that didn't work out. That's fine. So they actually just got... Oh no, they've got no people here. That's fun. So we did it. We actually sieged this before they could do anything. So cool. Alright. Mm, kind of annoying that they're running away now. Okay, where are you going? Oh, this is ridiculous. Alright, there we go. Kill them. That should go easily enough. Thank you, crushed. And that was the end of the Cherokee right there. Because we were, we we're going to fully annex them. At least that's my plan. Um, and while we're at it, we might as well raise the war taxes. Thank you very much. And we've got our vassals obviously helping us out as well. With the besieging of provinces. I think we somehow, somewhere have a better siege general. Oh. Oh. Uh, we've got... Ah, right. Yeah, gotta do something about this. That this does not get destroyed by... Uh, freaking uh, natives. Okay, wonderful. Seems more zealot, zealous priests have finally calmed down. After that debate in particular, there was a lot of smoke in the air and it was hard to breathe at times. Now the air is much clearer and you can take a deep breath and not worry about choking. This seems to be not... I don't, I don't think we need to take this literally... Okay, so more Atslan uh, provinces. Basically, all of our homelands are Atslan at this point. Very nice. Actually, and yeah, we have converted some provinces here as well. It's kind of cool. Either way, let's move on. This will be done very soon. Uh, let's finish this as well. And now we should have... We finished this. We finished a colony. Okay, let's send a settler here. And I think the Cherokee are, are going to be fully annexed right now. There's nothing they can do to prevent that. And so, yeah, thank you for the full annexation and the free provinces. Now, I am going to keep... Uh, I'm actually going to keep these two fortresses here because... We are inevitably going to have to go to war with the Elysians at some point. And so these fortresses can be useful in that regard to help us. Okay, now that's going to cost, but that's fine. We're making a lot more points. Once again, I should have probably raised stability while, uh, while we're at war, but it's okay. So we'll crush these rebels. Crush the other rebels. Netherlands declare independence. Doesn't really matter that much to us. But there it is. Um, that's actually really cool. That's a huge Bohemia. That's a huge Netherlands. Fighting. Oh my god. Holy shit. They seem to be fighting the religious league. The Protestants are actually very powerful here. We've got Brandenburg and Prussia as well. There are even in a personal union on the Brandenburg. I wonder if they're going to be able to form... Oh, that's so funny. I think that's really cool. Rostov is still around somehow. Uh, but they're also in a personal union on the Russia. Okay. That's probably why they're still around. Wallachia somehow is over here as a vassal of Hungary. So weird. And everyone's beating down on the Netherlands. They will not survive this. I cannot see them survive this at all. Anyway, um... Let's move on here. We'll crush these rebels real quick. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now, I picked this... I picked the sacrifices here because I was hoping that we would have some fun with the Elysians. But they're cowards. They didn't even... Be ready, it said. Be ready for what? No one's even doing anything. Hmm. Whatever. Let's uh, go ahead and explore some more things we've got more rebels we can crush them easily though and when are the Elysians gonna colonize more over here that's kind of 
what I want from them. I want them to colonize my things for me. That'd be nice. They're kind of not interested in doing that at all. Oh, yeah. And you... Attack the native, please. Thank you. Okay, you... Can you... Is there more to discover? Apparently not. You can't discover more things. Oh, there you go. That's That can be discovered. Is there another province? Oh, that's only one province, apparently. Okay, well, let's discover that and see what we can find there. Mm, more separatists. Yeah, we'll crush them all. Not that big of a deal. We are now losing money again. Oh, that's... Why are we losing so much money all of a sudden? Army maintenance is pretty high. Hmm. It's kind of hard to say. But, whatever. Uh, let's... Well, improved relations here doesn't really help. We have improved relations with you. Quite a lot, actually. Let's get that royal marriage going. And let's have someone... Always just build a spy network on Elysians. Yeah. Oh, and do I have one on you? I feel like I should have one here as well. Colonize that province. It's not here. It's not here. Damn, we could be anywhere, really. None of these. None of these up there. It's not here. It's my oh yeah, it's over here. That's what we need to colonize. Okay, we will do that. That's fine. And okay, you're gonna be dealing with these rebels. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I, I don't quite understand why we're losing that much money all of a sudden, but we are. So I'll take the money to yeah, get rid of that. And wow, powerful trade ships, I suppose. Even though that doesn't help that much. And we'll have you convert some people. Thank you. You go back here. And I want... Yeah, I want you to stay up here because we'll need you for an attack on Ottawa. Because we're going to be taking them over soon. Elysia, I'm probably going to take like their southern lands, Florida. And then we'll take some lands here as well. Not everything, but just something. A little something. Okay, wow. We could just continue on. And I suppose we will. Just to get the edge here. More cannons. I want the extra fire damage, please. And while you're at it, you can actually get a uh, dude as well. Huron wants higher condottieries. I don't think I will hire them out. I need my troops. Okay. These guys are defeated. It's, we're just cutting through them so easily. It's actually cheating almost. But yeah. Um, we're waiting for claims. We could technically declare the war without the claims. But I feel like it's just kind of nice to, to do it with them. I will want to wait for, you know, our extension to go away. Maybe for our clergy to be happy. Just so we save a little bit of the points. Uh, Utrecht joins the Netherlands. I don't think that really helps them much. Yeah, they actually already lost. They had to spit out Brabant. I mean, they might join back in, actually. It's probably not that bad for the Netherlands. I think they are allowed to join back in. So that'd be kind of fun. If all they had to give up, they're going to get back immediately. Oh, and Ottawa's at war. Well, that sucks. Because I don't want... Maybe I should get in on this. Well, the Iroquois are probably going to take this over. You know what? I'll let them fight. I'll uh, stay at peace for now. Maybe get a little bit more manpower back. Yep, yeah, there you go. Provent joins the Netherlands. And look at this. They're back. I mean, they've lost a few cores. That's all that Austria got back. But they're now allied to Bohemia and Russia. So they're not going to be taken over that easily anytime soon. They're now... They've got really powerful friends. So they're here to stay. Oh, and what's this? Oh, this is a colony? 
Oh, okay. I didn't actually know that we had a colony here. Yeah, well, that kind of explains, at least in parts, where our money went. Okay, and... Well, let's recall you here and send you here to finish that off. Because I don't want to have Cherokee here. Now, trade failure. Mm. Give the merchant some loyalty. Sure, why not? I have enough Dipple Points run, lying around. Okay, you are almost loyal as well. And we've gained some bloody cores. How much does it cost? Okay, so once the clergy is happy, and maybe once we... Actually, we're just waiting for the clergy at this point. We've got no overextension. The Kree have taken lands from the Huron. Alright, well. Let's give me this. I already have claims here. I'll take another one from the Elysians. Um, we got a... F okay, we've got everything here. You can get, come back from Ottawa and then we'll have to claim lands from the Iroquois. Thank you. Build that spy network here. Awesome. So, next we're definitely going to go to war. I don't want to go to war with Elysia just yet. I think we still have the possibility to conquer other other people so maybe Ottawa next it's kind of depends I I wonder how much is, oh only 98 okay that's really good let's boost this and let's see our next decision I think the worship of Zeus will be next wait didn't I Hold on, didn't we already do that? Oh, okay, so we have to click this. The debate is over here, the debate is not over. Well, that sucks. I think this might be a bug. I think this event, I think here, I might be crazy, but I'm pretty certain that we we had this happen already. Yes, everyone is unhappy. Did we? I, wow. Okay, I feel so weird, but... Yeah, I think this does not end the debate. Only this does. Which is kind of shitty. So, okay. We're kind of being forced to go with one thing. Which is not that great. But, okay. So, I've now gone with this... The proper decision. And we get extra base production. Very nice. Alright. Well, I will have to end this episode here. Um, I suppose we've... Uh, yeah, we kicked out Zeus from the Olympus. So, there you go. That's, that's something. And, um, yeah, I hope I will see you guys next time. When we're going to go and perhaps go to war with Elysia. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just beat them down. I don't know.